Alright, we're back. I didn't change too much um, since uh, I last left up on this lab. I had to go to the doctors and uh, get some medication from a cold, but as you can see, all I really did was just rename the stuff in the designer. So that way I know what the heck I'm working with. I wasn't smart if I did it before, but hey. So I'm going to go back into the blocks. Just, just the same thing. And what I did is I put that, that collision equation that I got from over here and changed it to 2 to negate it and push it back quicker than it hits into it. And I put it for the door, the wall, and wall 1 and 2. And for the door, or the fence, whatever you want to call it. Alright. Now, uh, what next thing I'm going to do is uh, the collision with the finish. Or the little hole at the end. I'm going to want to make it say something like you won. So I'm just going to get a uh, win, win collision with finish, which is uh, the bigger hole that we put down in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to make it want to say something. And in order to do that, you do need a notifications. So I have to go back to the, you know, sorry for my going back and forth, I do forget, but I do have a cold, so I do have a reason. So we're going to have to go grab a, our notifier. It's a little triangle thing. It's another uh, thing we won't see, but that will make a pop-up. So when the person does hit into it, it will notify them with a little box. So we're going to click on your notifier. And we're going to want to display a message of some sort. Uh, so let me see which one should I do. Show alert, notice, message. Log info. You really could do any of these. This just has buttons and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of which one would be the best one. To, I just want to show a message that you want. I really don't want to have to go too much into it. Let's just do this one right here. Uh, actually, we're just going to do this. No fire. Wait, did this show alert? Let me see. Oh, yeah, show alert. There we go. Like I said, this is just just here to show that like the person has won when they hit that little ball at the bottom. So I mean, you could do anything. You could make it restart, you know. And I'll show you how to make it restart when uh, we hit the mine. And you could take that same thing and put it on there. But uh, for right now, I just wanted to say like you, you won. So you won with a string. Next thing we'll do is uh, collision with the open sign. So you're going to want to go to the open sign, collision with, and then we're going to want to make the fence disappear, so the door. set to false. And I'm going to duplicate this and just change it for visibility. And then the last but not least is the mine. Same thing, collision with. And then we're going to duplicate this. And set those to true. And then we're going to want to set it, set the ball back to its original position. To call for move two. And I'm going to look back here for the original position. It is at 10, 4. So, 10. And 
everything should be in working order now. I'll go ahead and show you. There is one other thing I forgot to tell you is to lock the screen in portrait mode. So we got a screen, screen orientation, portrait. And that should solve that problem for it switching back and forth. This is it here. Try to multitask here. Please like and subscribe and, uh, and download my app. The link is below. Thank you. Bye.